Lady Bronx get the primetime game, 7 o'clock here tonight. The game's going to start a little bit early as the JV game and the freshman game ran a little bit ahead of time. But it's a matchup of the Sheridan Lady Bronx and the Buffalo Lady Bison. Last year, Sheridan lost this game over in Buffalo. And I watched in person all but two Lady Bronx games last year. And it was easily one of the worst games that the Lady Bronx had played. They could not get in a rhythm over there in Buffalo. Buffalo took them out of rhythm early. Uh, Sheridan got in some early foul trouble. And uh, Sheridan could just never recover. They shot terribly. And... Uh, Played just a, a terrible game, so looking for maybe maybe a little bit of revenge this year in the Sheridan County Johnson County uh, rivalry. Plus, you know it's an interclass matchup. It's 4A versus 3A, and uh, that doesn't mean a lot right now when Buffalo comes in here. On top of that, Buffalo is a pretty darn good team. This Lady Bison team is athletic. We talked about how athletic Sheridan is. Well, Buffalo Buffalo's athletic as well, and they are scoring some points. The similarities don't end there. Sheridan and Buffalo are both undefeated on the season, but there's a little bit of an asterisk. Neither team played we'd call high-quality opponents in their first weekend of basketball. Buffalo went 3-0. They beat Scotts Bluff, Nebraska by 30. They beat Rock Springs by 35, and they beat Moore, South Dakota by 29. So none of those games were, were, um, were even close for Buffalo as they went out and scored 64 points a game and they shot 42 percent from the field so a good first weekend for the lady bison on the other hand for the lady bronx they went 4-0 um over in riverton and again the the teams they were playing are not the m most high caliber teams in the state as they beat riverton jackson rollins and then they struggled in that fourth game in three days against star valley um w winning that game by eight but sheridan bronx are four and or sheridan lady bronx are four and Buffalo Lady Bryson are 3-0, and uh, you know, after we had some time to drive home from Riverton and thinking about how the Lady Bronx played in that first weekend, all in all, I think I think Coach Sullivan had to be pretty happy with their overall performance and how they did. Um, again, the, the competition wasn't the most difficult thing in the state. However, um, in, in looking at some of those games, thinking about some of those games and how the Lady Bronx played, I think there's some keys that they really need to work on as this season moves forward, and, and they're going to get a good test this weekend as they get to play Buffalo here tonight, and then they go over to Cody tomorrow morning, um, and the game will actually take place at 12.30 tomorrow afternoon. But Cody's the defending state champions in the state, and they've got the reigning Gatorade player of the year on the girls' side. And I, I thought Lady Bronx, after thinking about it and kind of going over some of those games, they really need to do a better job rebounding. Uh, there, there were times in particular against Star Valley, but throughout the weekend, where they didn't do a heck of a good job rebounding, and they need to be more efficient offensively. And, and what does efficiency mean offensively? That, that simply means they need to shoot the ball better. They need to score the opportunities when they're given to them. Didn't shoot a real high percentage from the free throw. So, again, I think this weekend gives Coach Sullivan, gives the Lady Bronx a better idea of what they're going to be moving forward and what they get to work on over the next three weeks over Christmas break before they get into conference play. So, like I say, we're in for a matchup tonight. This should be a competitive game. Buffalo's got some good athletes. They've got some girls that can score the ball. Sheridan, athletic also. It'll be nice to see when you're not up 25 how Sheridan plays. What do they do when the game gets tight? You know, Star Valley, they played very physical. It was an eight-point game, um, but... I, I don't want to say that game was ever really in doubt. You know, I mean, the, Sheridan had a lead most of the game. It just it was an ugly ball game, four games in three days. So tonight, I think, is a much better test for the Lady Bronx. Buffalo sits at two, uh, number two in the state. And, again, I don't put a, a lot into the preseason rankings because you don't know what girls have developed, who moved in, who moved away. So those preseason rankings are kind of a – they're always kind of a flip a coin situation, but Buffalo is a good team. They're a team that definitely can compete at the 4A level. So we're in for a good one tonight. We'll take a break, run down your starting lineups, and get set to go. It's Lady Bronc basketball on 1410 KWIO and 1069 FM. They say the best offense is a good defense. This theory applies on Wyoming's roads and highways just as much as it does on the basketball court. Always know road conditions before you head out. Visit wyoroad.info, download YDOT's 511 app, or call 511 for current conditions. Buckle up every trip, every time, and put away distractions, especially your phone, so you're better prepared for the unexpected. Finally, never drink and drive, not even a little, because buzz driving is drunk driving. This message brought to you by YDOT. 
It's that special time of year to spread holiday cheer and spend time with family, friends, and those you hold dear. Hi, this is Erin Nagurski with First Southern Bank, and this holiday season, we are extra thankful for our customers and community for making this year at First Southern Bank a wonderful one. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. First Northern Bank of Wyoming, your community bank since 1885. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Delicious McDonald's deals are now more fun, more accessible, and better than ever through the McDonald's mobile app. Download the McDonald's app, join My McDonald's Rewards to get your free large fries with a $1 minimum purchase. Plus, when you join My McDonald's Rewards, you start earning points on every eligible order. Points you can put towards more free food. Just order, relax, and enjoy. Go to the Google Play or Apple App Store, download the McDonald's mobile app, and start saving. Download it now! As 2023 draws to a close, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and thank you for your support this year and always. Hi, this is Elizabeth and JT Kraft with EBA Hearing, and we are thrilled to announce that Doctor of Audiology Addison Dempsey has recently joined our team. Hi, I'm Addison, and I can't wait to work with you. I'm experienced in hearing, vestibular, and auditory processing disorder evaluations, and more for all ages. It is so great to be back home. Welcome to the EBA Hearing family, Addison, located at 1273 Coffeen Avenue. Have you been to the showroom at Thompson Master Masons? If you're thinking about doing a masonry project, you need to stop by and check it out. Thompson's is located on the corner of Broadway and 11th in Sheridan with a showroom full of brick and stone samples. They offer both man-made and natural stone. As a matter of fact, Thompson Master Masons has the widest selection of stone, block, and brick in town. Wholesale or retail, contact Thompson Master Masons. Rooting for the home team is the Wyoming way. And the banks of Buffalo, Gillette, and Sheridan are the 307's biggest fans. Banking with us means you're doing more than ever to support school sports because your money stays right here in our community. We're proud to recognize our hardworking athletes with youth sponsorships. And the local difference means the familiar faces you know and trust for your banking needs are the same ones cheering with you up in the stands. BuffaloFed.Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, this is DJ Deercorn of First Federal Bank and Trust, and you are listening to Sheridan Media Sports. Live from Sheridan High School, I'm Aaron Lagaki. Lady Bronx getting set to take on the Lady Bison from Buffalo. I'm sure you can hear it on the radio, and if you're streaming this on SheridanMedia.com, keep in mind we are videoing this tonight, so that's a great thing. If you want to watch the game while listening, uh, you just go to SheridanMedia.com. That should be right there on that home page. Click on that, pull it up on your TV, your smartphone, your smart TV, your tablet, any other device that you can get video on and, and pull that up, and let's uh, watch the Lady Bronx. This is the only home game for either the Bronx or the Lady Bronx before Christmas. They won't get another home game until January, so... Um, a good crowd tonight, excited to watch these Lady Bronx, this athletic team. You know, we mentioned some of the things that Lady Bronx absolutely need to improve on. Uh, that's rebounding, that's shooting. They only shot 38% over the weekend and only shot 24% from the three-point line in that first weekend. But uh, some of the things they did really well, defensive ball pressure was just intense. It, w it was immense, and, and it'll be very interesting to see how Buffalo handles that tonight because again Buffalo is probably the best team Sheridan has faced so far this year are they going to be able to get by that ball pressure and if they do what does Sheridan's help side look look like is Sheridan's press is their full court and three-quarter court press going to cause havoc with Buffalo or are they going to be able to break it are we going to see some breakdowns on the defensive side for Sheridan these are things we just have to wait and see again tomorrow the Lady Bronx and Bronx are again back to back they're going to travel over to Cody in the morning Lady Bronx game is scheduled to start at 12 30 tomorrow afternoon you can listen to that on 1410 KWIO 1069 FM or you can stream it it won't have video but you can stream the audio um, on your phone by clicking on SheridanMedia.com the boys game will start at 2 o'clock. And the boys are getting set to take on Buffalo over in Buffalo uh, tonight, so we'll get some updates on the scoring over there and, and update you as soon as we get updates. Uh, Lady Bronx and Buffalo Lady Bison are getting set to announce the starting lineups. However, we have the national anthem going first, so we'll kill a few seconds, then we'll take a break once the national anthem starts, obviously. But, uh, yeah, excited to see where this game goes. This will be the first really good test for the Lady Bronx. Um, for that matter, it's going to be a good test for Lady Bright Bison. And 
they are set. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more. You're listening to Lady Bronx Basketball on 1410 KWIO and 1069 FM. When it comes to your family's health care, everybody's needs are different. You might be under stress from work, your daughter needs a physical, while your youngest needs immunizations. One Health is the one place where the whole family can receive integrated care. That's primary health care, mental health services, chronic care management, and more. Because at One Health, our integrated approach takes care of the whole you and your whole family. Learn more at 1chc.org slash integrated. Did you know Sheridan Motors is Sheridan's only locally owned and operated new vehicle dealership? That means when we thrive, Sheridan directly benefits. We're proud to support our hometown through sponsorships, good deeds, and excellent full-time jobs with benefits. Stop by your locally owned and operated Sheridan Motors to check out our incredible selection and find out what's coming soon. We know you have a choice when it comes to shopping for new and used cars, servicing your vehicle, and purchasing tires. On behalf of Sheridan Motors' entire team, thank you for your business. When it comes to your family's health care, everybody's needs are different. You might be under stress from work, your daughter needs a physical, while your youngest needs immunizations. One Health is the one place where the whole family can receive integrated care. That's primary health care, mental health services, chronic care management, and more. Because at One Health, our integrated approach takes care of the whole you and your whole family. Learn more at 1chc.org slash integrated. This is Dr. Dana Leroy with Leroy Family Dental, and you're listening to Sheridan Media Sports. Live from Sheridan High School, first home game of the basketball season for the Sheridan Lady Bronx. They're getting set to take on the Buffalo Lady Bison. Starting lineup for Buffalo. They're announcing the numbers right now. Numbers in the names. Carly Davis, she's a sophomore. She stands about five foot seven. Where's number two? Tess Rule, where's number three? She's committed to Black Hills State to play basketball, so she'll go over to Spearfish, South Dakota next year and play basketball over there. Camry Davis, she's a junior. Where's number uh, where's number twenty-three? And she is Carly's sister. Two Davises on the floor to start. That's Camry and Carly. Carly the sophomore, Camry the junior. And we also have Cassidy Bessler. She's a senior, stands about five foot five. And the final starter is Grace Peterson. She wears number four. She's a senior, five nine. And if you can tell on the radio, Lady Bronx being announced in their starting lineup. And uh, hey, a, a big boost tonight where the Lady Bronx uh, get Mesa Hanif back. Hanif played and uh, scored 21 points in her debut against Riverton. Uh, Hurt her wrist a little bit. It's actually taped up tonight, but Mesa's back in the starting lineup, so what a big boost for the Lady Bronx. As we have number 30, Mesa Hanft, as I said, she's a freshman. Number 13, Addie Pendergast, she's a senior. Avery McMullen wears number 12, she's a junior. Addie Burgess, number two, had a huge game against Star Valley, hit four threes in the third quarter, gave Sheridan a big boost against Star Valley, 14 total points in that third quarter. Rounding out the starting lineup is senior Ali Lagaki, number 33. And Hanif jumps it up against Peterson. Tip is on its way. Ball bounds toward out of bounds. Run down by Rule. Rule dribbles it up. Points to her right. Buffalo wants to set up the defense. Man to man from Sheridan. Off the tip. Camry Davis passes off to uh, Camry Davis. She fires a shot. Rebound Hanif. Hanif, a couple dribbles. Gets it to point guard Pendergast. Quickly up the left side to McMullen. McMullen, eight, thought about the 18-footer. Doesn't. Skip pass goes to Burgess. Right wing. Three. Good. Out of line Burgess. Picks up where she left off against Star Valley. First three points on the board, 3-0, and Addie Pendergast picks up a foul. If it was hockey, we'd call that a hip check. Addie Burgess was up in the air going for the ball and just laid her hip right into Carly Davis. First foul on the senior, Pendergast. Buffalo basketball, 3-0 in the early going. Lady Bronx, bas- or Lady, Bronx on, Lady Bronx on defense. Lady Bronx lead, 3-0. Pass goes to Peterson, top of the key. Looking inside, doesn't have anybody. Passes right. That's Camry Davis. Camry passes it off to Bessler. Bessler throws it out of bounds. Turnover on the Lady Bison. 3-0, 7-18 on the range scoreboard. Full court man-to-man pressure coming from Buffalo. Pendergast inbounding. Hanift and Lagaki on the elbows. Pass goes into Hanift. She runs it down. Bounce pass back to Pendergast. And it looks like they might try to clear the floor. Hanif crosses half court, as does Pendergast, so they clear it and get into their half court offense. Pass goes left wing, McMullen. Skip pass to Lagaki. She'll fire a three. Can we? Nope, she misses it. 
Well, that skip pass is there in the early going. McMullen has two passes. Lagaki had an open three, missed it short. McMullen fought for the rebound, jump ball. Possession arrow goes the way of the Lady Bronx as they lost the tip. McMullen inbounding. Lagaki and Haneft on the blocks. Lagaki screens for Haneft. McMullen looking. Now has to pass it out to Pendergast, left wing. Now to McMullen. She'll try an 18-footer. That's short, way short air ball. Rebound rule. Rule pushes it up the right side, across half court. Pass McMullen, now passes off to Bessler, out of bounds, another turnover on the Lady Bison. Sloppy for the Lady Bison, their first couple turno- or first couple possessions. Full court pressure again from Buffalo. Pendergast inbounding along the sideline, gets it to Haneft. Haneft chins the ball, gets to Pendergast, now to Lagaki. Lagaki, pass up the right sideline, too high for, Pender- or for uh, Burgess and out of bounds. Turnover Lady Bronx. Well, that pass, Burgess stands about 5'5". Five she needed to be about five foot seven. She got fingers on that pass, but wasn't able to corral it. Three to zero, Lady Bronx lead in the early going. Six thirty-five on the range scoreboard. They break the press. Get it to Rule. Rule underneath. Fires a reverse layup. Doesn't get it to go. Pendergast comes away with a rebound. It was kept alive by Hanif. Pendergast gets credit for the rebound up the left side. Nobody from Buffalo stops her. Pass through the lane. Hanif runs it down. Fires a shot. Blocked away. Rule with the basketball for the Lady Bison. Bounce pass up the right side. Davis. Camry. Camry, low block, fires a shot, doesn't get it to go. Peterson knocks it out of bounds, and Sheridan basketball. Like I said, they're athletic. Rule gets out and runs, finds Davis on the right side. Davis had a good look at a layup, missed it. Pendergast inbounding, gets it to Hannah. Quickly back to Pendergast, they break the press. Pendergast right side to Burgess. Burgess, three-pointer right wing. She traveled before she took the three. Too many steps. Will you teach your girls to one-two? You want a one-two. Addie did one-two-three. When she received that ball, three steps is a turnover. Travel on the Lady Bronx, two turnovers on the Lady Bronx here in the early going. 3-0, to 6-0-7 on the range scoreboard. Lady Bison basketball, rule with it, picked up by McMullen, top of the key. Pass goes left, that's Carly Davis. She'll fire a three off the glass and good. Scores tied up 3-3. Three to three. Boy, banked it in. It wasn't pretty, but it went in. Pass goes to Pendergast. Off the inbound. Pendergast, top of the key. Almost threw it away. Burgess runs it down. Back to Pendergast. Low block. She's fouled by Peterson, who trailed the play. Peterson picks up her first foul. Lady Bronk inbound from underneath their own hoop. Avery McMullen on the baseline, awaiting for the basketball from the official. It's Burgess, Hanif, Lagaki, McMullen, Pendergast on the floor. Pendergast swings it left. Burgess will try another three. That's left wing. In and out. Rebound Buffalo, cleared away by Davis. Now Carly with it, up the left side. Carly to the three-point line, gets it off to sister Camry. Camry fires a shot. She gets boxed out hard by Lagaki. Luckily, Lagaki didn't get a foul there. Air ball, rebound McMullen, Pendergast with it. Full court pressure from the Bison. Pendergast across half court, kicks it right to McMullen. McMullen looking for Hanift, probably fouled, no call. Ball's loose on the floor. Lady Bronx settle down, get it to Lagaki, left wing. Skip pass to Burgess, right wing. Drives baseline, pass Davis, bounce pass in the lane. Knocked away, stolen by Carly Davis. It was knocked away by Camry. Carly gets credit for the steal. Carly, left side, fires up a shot. Doesn't go. Hannah for the rebound, gets it ripped away by Bessler. She fires a shot, up no good. Peterson rebound up and good. Lady Bronx have got a rebound. We mentioned it in the pregame, got a rebound. And... I think Coach Sullivan wants a timeout. He takes one, probably a quick one, 30-second timeout. Looks like we'll keep it here. Lady Bronx trail, 3-5. to five. Fast-paced, first three minutes of the ball game. 3-11 is gone. There's 449 on the range scoreboard. Lady Bronx trail by two. They've had some great looks at the, at the hoop, though. Addie Burgess has had three wide-open three-point looks. Ali Lagaki had a wide-open three-point look. But when they dribble into traffic, these active hands from the athletes of the Lady Bison knocking it away. So a little sloppy from the Lady Bronx. They need to shore that up, obviously, as the game continues, as this first quarter continues. Defensive pressure not doing a heck of a lot right now, and Cam Wagner checks in out of the timeout. So Pendergast, Wagner, Lagaki, Burgess, and McMullen on the floor. Uh, Hanif takes a seat on the bench. Coach, she's sitting next to Coach Scholl, and I think he wants to talk about something in this full-court press breaker. So the point guard, Pendergast, is the one actually distributing the ball from out of bounds. And then Lagaki and Hanif were the ones on the elbows who were trying to get open. And... They break it easily as Lagaki gets it to Pendergast. Now to Burgess. Thought about the three. Left-hand dribble. Bounce pass in the lane. Bad pass. Stolen away. Another steal. Camry Davis. Camry with it. She's the junior. Carly's the sophomore. Camry kicks it over to her sister. She'll fire a three. Wide open left wing. Bang. 
She's got two threes, that's six points for Carly. Grace Peterson has the other two points for Buffalo. Eight to three, Lady Bronx trail by five, 427 on the range scoreboard. Lady Bronx, gotta take care of the basketball. Those passes in the paint are really hard to make. Little bounce passes in the paint. The paint's all congested down there in the lane. Pendergast with it, splits the defense. Gets by Bessler, passes it off to Lagaki. Now to Burgess in the corner. Lagaki, top of the key. Lagaki, spin move. Working on Davis. Passes it off to Wagner. Wagner can't handle it. Ball on the floor. Goes to Burgess. Burgess out to Lagaki. She'll fire three left wing. Bang! Allie Lagaki. It's 6-8, to eight, Lady Bronx trail. Full court pressure from the Lady Bronx. Pass goes up the sideline, Bessler. She's guarded by Burgess. Bessler just stepped out of bounds. Boy, just another, that really wasn't a forced turnover by the Lady Bronx. Just Bessler didn't realize how close she was to the left sideline. Stepped on it with her left foot. Turnover Lady Bison. Lady Bronx have a chance to tie or take the lead down two. McMullen checks out. Hanif to back into the game. So it's your starters minus McMullen and Cam Wagner is on the floor. Pendergast, Lagaki, Burgess, Haneft, and Cam Wagner. Wagner, just a sophomore, had a nice weekend over there in Riverton. Buffalo showing zone. Bob, pass knocked away. Pendergast got it stolen. Davis with it. Davis off to Bessler. Bessler, left-hand layup, up and good. Bessler, her first bucket of the ball game. It's 10 to 6. Lady Bronx turning it over too much in the early going. Pass goes to Mesa. Now to Pendergast. Pendergast quickly up to Burgess, left side. Burgess thought about the three. Left-hand dribble. Pass Davis into the paint. Nice pass to Haneft. Haneft up and in as the big girl Mesa Haneft runs the floor and scores 10 to 8. Mesa, good athlete, stands about 5'10", 5'11", ran the floor, got an easy bounce pass from Burgess, and the assist as Mesa laid it up and in. Davis fires the three on the other end. That's no good. Cam Wagner, the rebound. Wagner passes it off to Lagaki. Lagaki guarded in the full court, dribbles right hand, guarded by Davis. Quick it off to Pendergast. Pendergast quickly to the corner. That's Burgess. Fire a three. Bang, Eddie Burgess. Six points for Burgess. Two threes. Bronx take a lead. Second lead of the ball game, 11-10. Lady Bronx up one, 253 on the range scoreboard. Davis with it, that's Car uh, Carly. Carly passes off left, Bessler. Bessler, a couple dribbles, top of the key. Gets it to Peterson at the free throw line. Guarded by Hanif. Peterson, little spin move in the lane. Fires up a left-hand shot. Ball batted around, Lagaki gets the rebound. Lagaki, left side, looking right side. Doesn't have anybody, crossover dribble. Gets to the paint, ball knocked away from behind as Tess Rule ran the floor and knocked it out of bounds from behind Lagaki. There's a chance Rule and Lagaki may see each other at the next level. Rule going to Black Hill State Division II basketball. Alley signed at Montana State Billings, also Division II basketball. They're not in the same conference, but certainly may play a game in the next four years against each other, may meet up. Out of the out-of-bounds play, pass goes to Burgess, now down to Hannett. Hannett on the low block, double teams. Now to McMullen, top of the key. Right-hand dribble, gets a screen from Wagner. Still dribbling. Buffalo man-to-man -man right now. Pass goes to Burgess, now McMullen. McMullen looks right to Lagaki, inside to Haneft, posting up on the low block. Oh, great job, Mesa Haneft. Haneft got position down low. She just backed her girl right under the hoop. Entry pass from Lagaki goes to Haneft. She's fouled, goes to the line to shoot two. So Haneft only played the one game, as we said, because of that darn, that darn uh, wrist injury. Mesa shot nine free throws against Riverton in that only game she played over there, and she hit seven of them, and she goes one for one here in this trip. Mesa with three. 12 to 10 is your score. Lady Bronx lead, 209 on the range scoreboard. Hanif to eyes a second free throw as she gets it from the official. Shot up and no good off the front iron. Rebound rule. 12 to 10, Lady Bronx lead by two. Rule across half court. Picked up by McMullen. Top of the key. Swings it left Davis. That's Camry. Up to Bessler. Bessler right side. Now looks to the free throw lane. Gets it off to Kirkate, Kirkert, sorry. Pass goes off and fires a shot. It's good. That's Grace Finkel who just checked into the ball game. Hits her first two from the free throw lane. Free throw line, rather. Inbound pass to McMullen. Back to Lagaki. 12-12. We're all knotted up. A minute 40 to go on the range scoreboard. Lagaki with it. Guarded by Finkel. Lagaki holds up a fist. Left side. Gets a screen from Haneft. Gets to the elbow. Passes it off to McMullen. Left wing. Not guarded. Now she'll drive into the paint. Right hand layup. Off the glass. Too hard. Rebound Finkel. She kicks it out quickly to Davis. Davis up the right side. Camry. Passes off to Rule. Rule walked. No call. Gets to Bessler. Bessler. Elbow. Out to Davis. Thought about the three. She walked. Well, she just barely drug her foot. The, the first travel on rule that wasn't called was a much more obvious uh, much more obvious travel. Pendergast checks in, Burgess out. Pendergast runs over to the baseline. She'll inbound the ball when, she, when the ball is put into play. 12-12 to 12 is your score. It's 
Pendergast, Wagner, Hanift, McMullen, Lagaki on the floor. Wagner with it, throws it away. Pendergast runs it down though, so no turnover. Well, there's that speed from Pendergast. She's going to Stanford to run track. Ran that ball down, now gets to the elbow, working on Bessler. Crossover dribble and Bessler got handsy, she reached in. They might actually get Carly Davis reaching in. No, they get Bessler. I thought for a second they might get Carly, who was help side, reaching in, but no. It's on Bessler, her first. Lady Bronk basketball. That's the third team foul on Buffalo. McMullen from the baseline. Tosses it up top, Lagaki, top of the key. Lagaki looking for a backdoor cut to McMullen. McMullen, nice catch, layup, good. McMullen gets her first bucket of the ball game. Assist goes to Lagaki, 14-12. Lady Bronx up two, under a minute to go. Lady Bison basketball, rule. Up top to Kirkert. Kirkert looking inside for Finkel. Throws it out of bounds. Another turnover by the Lady Bison. I believe that's five. I think that's five turnovers in the first quarter on Buffalo. Bendergast slaps the ball, looking for Hanneft or Wagner to move. Somebody's got to come to it. Avery McMullen does a nice job coming to it, gets it, passes back to Pendergast, 40 seconds to go. Across half court, Lagaki. Lagaki, left-hand dribble. She'll fire an 18-footer. That's good. Lagaki with five, 16 to 12. 30 seconds on the clock. Cam Carly Davis handling the point for Buffalo. Carly to the volleyball line, picked up by Pendergast. Right side rule from the wing. She fires a pass out of bounds. Oh, they said it was tipped. I didn't see the tip. Buffalo ball inbounding from the baseline. Rule inbounding. Buffalo makes a couple late substitutions as Peterson and Camry Davis check into the game. Again, I want to make sure I've got this. Camry Davis is the junior. Carly Davis is the sophomore. They are sisters. Nice players. Davis girls. Rule gets the ball from the official. Inbound pass goes to Carly. Carly into the paint. Fires a shot over Lagaki. Too short. Hanif. Lagaki with the rebound. She rips it away from Hanif. Lagaki. Pass off to Pendergast. 13 seconds. Pendergast across half court. McMullen at the three-point line. Nice little entry pass to Mesa. Just a hair too long. Oh, boy, I thought it was going to be a good pass. Stolen away by Buffalo. Six, four. Tess fires a shot with four seconds. Nails it. Tess roll with a three as the quarter ends. Lady Bronx. End of the first quarter, up one after that deep three from Tess Rule. 16 to 15, Lady Bronx take a lead into the second quarter. You're listening to Lady Bronx Basketball on 1410 KWIO, 1069 FM. Did you know Sheridan Motors is Sheridan's only locally owned and operated new vehicle dealership? That means when we thrive, Sheridan directly benefits. We're proud to support our hometown through sponsorships, good deeds, and excellent full-time jobs with benefits. Stop by your locally owned and operated Sheridan Motors to check out our incredible selection and find out what's coming soon. We know you have a choice when it comes to shopping for new and used cars, servicing your vehicle, and purchasing tires. On behalf of Sheridan Motors' entire team, thank you for your business. This is State Senator Dave Kinski, and you're listening to Sheridan Media Sports. Live from Sheridan High School, Aaron Lagaki with you. Remember, if you want to watch this game, just go to SheridanMedia.com on your laptop, tablet, smart TV. Turn it on. Uh, you'll get to hear the game as well as see the game as the Sheridan Media crew does a great job filming this thing. Lady Bronx leads 16-15, to 15, starting the second quarter. Out of the quarter break, it's Pendergast, Lagaki, Hanneft, Burgess, and McMullen on the floor. So starters for the Lady Bronx. Rule, both Davises, Peterson, and Finkel on the floor for the Lady Bison. Test rule, right-hand dribble across half court. Kicks it off to Finkel, top of the key, looking for a cutter inside. Doesn't get it, gets it to Peterson at the elbow instead. Right elbow. Pass off to Davis. That's Camry. Camry, guarded by Lagaki. Kick it right to her sister, Carly. Carly tries to get past McMullen. She cuts her off along the baseline. Picks up her dribble, pass to Rule, top of the key. Rule, guarded by Pendergast. Now off to Davis. Carly, back to Rule. Rule, swing it left to Camry. Camry, guarded by Lagaki. Now up top, Carly. Carly, quick little step. Rule, fire a three, right side. Bang. Tess Rule with two threes. She's got six in the ball game. It's 18-16, Buffalo leads. 7-20 on the range scoreboard. Pendergast across half court. Buffalo backs off that full court pressure out of the quarter break. We'll see if they bring it back next possession. Pendergast with it, picks up her dribble, goes to Lagaki. Lady Bison in man-to-man. -man. Pass goes to Pendergast, looking inside for Hanif. Around the back dribble, left to right. Pendergast, bounce pass off to McMullen. McMullen, left-hand dribble to the wing. Almost walks, did walk. I thought she drug it, and the official says she did. Yeah, bad turnover by the Lady Bronx. Well, Lady Bronx had a stretch where they were pretty sloppy with the basketball there for about a minute and a half. Buffalo... More or less fairly sloppy throughout the first quarter, but Buffalo has a lead, 18-16. to 16. 
Carly Davis brings it across half court for the Lady Bison. Kicks it left, Finkel. Finkel, bounce pass underneath to Peterson. Nice little one dribble off the glass and good. Peterson has four. Nice move from Grace Peterson. She's a nice player down in the post. Good footwork, nice touch. Lady Bronx trail by four. Pendergast with it. Right wing, off to Lagaki. Over to McMullen. Swing it all the way to the corner. Burgess along the baseline. Bad pass again. Boy, that bounce pass, we can't force that ball inside. Hanif's posting up, trying, but Finkel and Peterson have done a good job on her. I know Sheridan wants to get the ball inside, but you've got to reverse it and allow Mesa to get position because they're fighting over position. Can't force it in there. Out of the baseline, out of bounds play. Ball goes up top to Pendergast. Pendergast, low block, fires a shot off the glass, doesn't go. Rebound Hanif, she's fouled, no call. Hanif goes up, she's fouled, goes to the line. I, I got to say, they missed the foul call, but refs have been letting them play. They have been, they've let a lot of contact go. That's okay if it stays consistent. Got to be strong when you go up for those shots near the near the lane. And Hanif was, she was hit on the elbow on the first attempt. No call, got her own rebound, went up for the second attempt, and Mesa's to the free throw line for a second time this evening. She's got four points in the ball game. She went one for two from the free throw line in the first quarter and hits her first right there, 17 to 20. Lady Bronx trail by three, shot up and good. Hanif with five. Burgess has six, Hanft has five, Lagaki has five, and McMullen has two for the Lady Bronx. That's all the scoring for the Lady Bronx. Six minutes to go. Lady Bison basketball, Peterson. Peterson with it, passes off to wide open. Davis underneath the Finkel up and in. Breakdown on the defensive side. Finkel gets her fourth point of the ball game, and Buffalo regains a four-point lead, 22 to 18. Pendergast with it, under six to go. Pendergast to the elbow, in the lane. Left-hand layup, off the glass and good. But nobody stopped Addy. Somebody has to step in, help side, and stop that drive. Great move by number 13, the senior, Pendergast. Back the other way, pass goes underneath to Peterson. She fires a shot off the glass, and good. Again, maybe some contact there, no call, but she was able to fight through the contact. Strong layup. And they're just trading buckets right now to start the second quarter, 24 to 20. Lady Bronx trail by four. Burgess, right corner. Couple dribbles against Davis. Gets it inside to Hanif. Hanif. One dribble and it was swarmed by Buffalo, and we got a walk. Thought they would get a jump ball. They get a walk instead on Mesa. Fun ball game. Athletic teams like this brand of basketball. Ball moves up and down the court. Kirkert is back in the game for Buffalo after the substitution. Bessler passes it up to Davis. That's Carly. Carly, right side, guarded by Pendergast. Carly. Right wing, pass it off to Bessler, top of the key, guarded by Burgess. Oh, she gets by Burgess, into the paint, left-hand layup, up and way too hard. Finkel, offensive board, fires a shot, maybe it was fouled, no call. Ball on the floor, Pendergast dives on it, as Finkel does, and McMullen, jump ball, possession arrow, goes Sheridan's way. And Coach Sullivan, not happy, he's going to take a timeout. It's a full one, we'll take one with him. Lady Bronx trail, 24-20. to 20. You're listening to Lady Bronx Basketball on 1410 KWIO and 106.9 FM. The Law Offices of Chapman, Valdez, and Lansing has offices in Sheridan and Casper ready to protect the freedoms and rights of the citizens of Wyoming. Michael Lansing, Nicole Soto, and Maiden McCool provide competent local legal counsel focused on small businesses, real estate transactions, guardianships, employee protections, and personal injury. Michael, McColl, and Wade will aggressively, timely, and ethically protect your rights 24-7. Proud to support all local youth activities. Hi, I'm County Commissioner Christy Haswell, and you're listening to Sheridan Media Sports. Live from Sheridan High School, Aaron Lagaki with you. It's second quarter. Lady Bronx trail by four, 20 to 24. There's 5.09 on the range scoreboard. Coach Sullivan just used a full timeout. That means a full minute on the timeout. Girls get to sit down on those 30-second timeouts. They have to stay on the court, can't go to the benches. Out of the timeout, McMullen, Hanft, Burgess, Cam Wagner back into the game, and Pendergast in the, on the floor as Lagaki takes a seat. We've got Camry Davis, Rule, Bessler, Finkler, Finkel, rather, and Kirkert on the floor for Buffalo. Matt, uh, Cam Wagner with it. She's trapped in the corner. Almost throws it away. Yep, she does. Bessler comes up with it, fires a shot, and good. Again, got to be strong with the basketball if you're the Lady Bronx. Inbound pass to Hanif. Now back to Pendergast. Pendergast across half court. Gets to the top of the key. Boy, she speeds down the floor quickly. Makes Buffalo in tr get into transition defense. Now Pendergast fires a three. That's short. Rebound rule. 26 to 20. Lady Bronx down six. Big possessions coming up here. Lady Bronx need to keep this thing close. Four and a half minutes to go. Rule goes right to Davis. Davis right wing. Now Rule. Top of the key. Guarded by McMullen. 
Rule back up dribble to the volleyball line. Stolen by Hanif. Hanif up the right side. Gets to the low block. Kirkherrick giving chase, and Hanif lays it up and in. Good decision there to not foul. Hanif leads the way with seven for the Lady Bronx. Lady Bronx up or down four. 4-16 on the range scoreboard. Davis with it. Pendergast gives chase. Around the back dribble. Carly to the top of the key. Picks up her dribble. Looking for Finkel. Doesn't have it. Gets it off left side to Rule. Rule, top of the key. Over to Bessler, right wing. Now inside. Finkel posting up on Wagner. Good little step through. Missed the shot, though. Offensive rebound. Kirkherrick. Isabel Kirkherrick with her first bucket of the ball game. 28-22. Hanift to Wagner. Passes too high. Wagner couldn't jump up and catch it. Turnover by the Lady Bronx. Quick substitutions from the Lady Bronx. Lagaki and Newton into the game. Pendergast out, and McMullen also checks out. First action for Newton here this evening. She wears number zero. She's a freshman. Two freshmen on the floor for the Lady Bronx. Newton and Hanift. A sophomore, Cam Wagner, and the returning seniors, Burgess and Lagaki. Pass goes right to Davis. That's Camry. Up top to Carly. Carly, top of the key. Pass it off. Fire a long three. Shot up. No good. Finkel, offensive board over Hannah. Fires a shot off the glass. Can't get that to go. Lagaki runs down the board. Up the left sideline. Now back off dribble and cross half court. Kick it right to Burgess. Thought about the three. Burgess had some open threes there in the first quarter. Hasn't had a thing to look at here since. Lagaki, great pass to Hanif. Oh, boy. Lagaki, a little wraparound pass. Gets it off to Hanif. Lagaki with the assist. Hanif has nine, 28-24. Great pass from Lagaki. And Mesa, great job cutting, received that ball, laid it up and in, nobody around her. Buffalo in the half court. Carly Davis with it. Carly guarded by Newton. Gets past her. Gets into the paint. Hanif stands still. Knocked it around. Oh, offensive rebound, and the ball's out of bounds. Boy, they are letting them play. They are really letting them play. Her carrot had the rebound there. Ball goes out of bounds, and the refs just point Sheridan's way. I don't know. I mean, I again, it's been consistent. They are, they are allowing this game to be physical. It's been physical on both ends. Both teams have gotten away with some fouls, so... Not a lot you can complain about right now if you're either coach. Burgess inbounding. Almost throws it over Lagaki's head. Lagaki caught it, tipped it, and tipped it to herself, and brings it up the floor now. Lady Bronx down four. Lagaki looking. Gets it to McMullen. McMullen looking for Hanif. Now goes to Newton, top of the key. Pump fake. Right hand dribble. Hand off to McMullen, top of the key. McMullen. Dribble weave to Burgess. Burgess to the elbow. Newton thought about the three. Looking inside for Hanif. Oh, throws the pass out of bounds. Boy, they're just, I understand Sheridan wanting to get the ball down low to Hanif. Why not? She's a beast down there on the low block, but just forcing that pass. Be patient. There's no shot clock in Wyoming yet. 28-24, Bronx, Bronx trail by four. 227 on the range scoreboard. It's the second quarter. Pass knocked away. It's on the floor. Kerkarrett and McMullen getting after it, and we've got a jump ball. That'll stay possession arrow Buffalo. End of the first quarter over in Buffalo, the Bronx, the boy Bronx, lead by eight. It's 19 to 11 at the end of first. So that's your update from Buffalo. Right here, Lady Bronx trail by four. It's Bessler with the ball out of the inbounds play. Passes off to Camry Davis. Davis swing it off to Finkel. Finkel over to Davis. She fires a three. Bang. Carly Davis has three threes in the ball game. Carly Davis had 13 points a game over there in Gillette at the season opening tournament for Buffalo. She's got nine tonight. Lady Bronx down seven. Lagaki with it. Tries an entry pass to Hanift. And Hanift gets tied up. Fouled by Bessler. I'm actually surprised they called that a foul. Entry pass to Hanift. And Bessler came over help side. Got a lot of ball. As much as they've been letting him play, I'm actually surprised that I'm surprised they called that a foul on Bessler. That it wasn't a jump ball. Hanift out. Pendergast in. Pendergast, Burgess, Newton, Lagaki, McMullen on the floor for the Lady Bronx. Lady Bronx inbounding. It's McMullen. McMullen looking for somebody. Pendergast in the right corner. Left-hand dribble guarded by Finkel. There's a mismatch. Gets into the paint. Fires up a jumper off the glass and good. Hit a lot of rim. Hit a lot of glass and it goes. Pendergast with four. A minute 42 to go. Lady Bronx trail by five. Newton guarding Bessler. Jump the pass. Burgess with it. Around the back. Right-hand side. Fires up a shot. She's fouled. No call. McMullen. Gets the offensive board. Lagaki fires a deep three. Left wing. Bang! Allie Lagaki. That's eight for Lagaki. Addie Burgess with the assist. Lady Bronx down two. This run and jump defense from the Lady Bronx. They show it. Pass goes to Finkel as Lady Bison break that pressure. 
Davis with it. Pass up top to Sister Camry. Camry, top of the key. Swing it over Bessler. Thought about the three. One dribble. Now to Davis. She'll fire a three. Tipped by McMullen. Kirk Herrick gets the offensive rebound. Over Pendergast. Off the glass and good. Boy, I got to tell you, Finkel, Kirk Herrick, and Peterson do a nice job for Buffalo down in the low block. That's something you don't see a lot at the 3A level is three girls who, who have a nice soft touch around the low block. Shoot, you don't even see that at the 4A level. Good job from Buffalo. 33-29 in the half court. Lagaki with it. Elbow. Left-hand layup. And ball's knocked away. No call. Ball touched the baseline. That'll be a turnover on the Lady Bronx. Again, some games that'll get called to reach tonight. That's not going to get called, right? Be strong with the basketball, girls. Lady Bronx down four. 38.3 seconds. Peterson checks in for, for Kerkert. She's out of the ball game. Pass goes to Rule. Back to Davis. That's Camry. Camry picks up her dribble in the full court. Ball's knocked out of, almost out of bounds and a timeout from Buffalo. That's a good decision by head coach Keith Leppert. Ball, Buffalo's all out of sorts right there. He'll burn a timeout here with 30 seconds to go in the first half. We'll leave it here, just a 30-second timeout. Lady Bronx trail by four. Been a fun game so far. I like the activity. Both teams playing physical. Both teams going after the basketball. And offensively, I mean, outside of a few minutes here and there, um, fairly sound offensively. Like I said, if you could eliminate, I mean, that's the thing about high school basketball. If you could just say, man, if we could eliminate the turnovers in this two-and-a-half-minute stretch, if we could eliminate the turnovers in this three-minute stretch in the second quarter, you'd be an excellent team, right? There aren't a lot of teams that can do that. And uh, with the amount of ball pressure that both of these teams apply, I think we're in for a few more stretches like that over the course of the game. Out of the timeout, Buffalo with it. Rule, Rule, gets the ball knocked away by Malone. Ball's on the floor. Rule runs it down. She's tied up by Newton, and we've got a jump, or a jump ball. There's the official signal. Should go the way of Sheridan, I believe. Possession arrow went Buffalo last time. So Sheridan has a chance to cut this lead to two or one this trip with 22 seconds on the clock. Sheridan trails by four. Pendergast, Lagaki, McMullen, Burgess, and Newton on the floor. And Pendergast throws it away. Now it's, oh, and McMullen stole it back. Oh, Pendergast threw it away to test Rule. McMullen came from behind. Rule had no idea McMullen was there. McMullen stole it back, and they got McMullen for a reach. First foul on Avery, just a junior. Good play by McMullen. Davis inbounding, gets it to Rule, 20 seconds. Rule across half court, guarded by Pendergast. Pass goes to Finkel, top of the key. Looking inside, dumping it down to Peterson, too hard. Burgess with the steal. Burgess, crossover dribble, gets it to Lagaki. Lagaki, nine seconds. She'll fire a deep three, too hard. Addie Pendergast fights for the rebound. It stays the way of the Lady Bronx. Five seconds on the clock, Lady Bronx basketball. Rushed shot from Lagaki there. There's plenty of time on the, on the clock. Lady Bronx down four, five seconds to go. Inbound pass to Newton. Newton, five seconds, four. Looking inside, she throws it away. Peterson comes up with it, gets it to Davis, and that runs out the clock. Lady Bronx head to half, down four. Fun first half. Score is 29 to 33. Again, your Bronx led at the end of the first quarter, 19 to 11 over in Buffalo. We'll take a break, come back with halftime, and bring in the second half action in this Lady Bronk, Lady Bison matchup. You're listening to Lady Bronk Basketball on 1410 KWIO and 106.9 FM. Need screen printed and embroidered items? Well, whatever you need, Kilpatrick Creations is the go-to local company for these types of items. If it's screen printed or stitched, we are the ones to help you. Give us a call first. We're here to help you and want to help you with your imprinted garment or accessory needs. We've been in the business and serving Sheridan County for over 20 years. We have the experience, talent, and selection of goods that allows us to help you promote your business, club, or event in the best, most affordable way possible. Come see Kilpatrick Creations for all your screen printed or embroidered needs. Wherever you are, you'll find a branch of Sheridan Community Federal Credit Union. And here's why. If you have a Sheridan Community Federal Credit Union account and a smartphone or other mobile device, visit SheridanCreditUnion.com. Download the free app and your smart device becomes an internet mobile banking device with all kinds of banking features. So, regardless of your location, Sheridan Community Federal Credit Union is in the palm of your hand. Member NCUA, Equal Housing Lender. Do you have family coming to town and not enough room in your home to accommodate them? Book them a room at the Candlewood Suites in Sheridan. 
They'll enjoy features like fully equipped kitchens that include a microwave, full-sized refrigerator, dishwasher, stovetop, even pots and pans, and free guest laundry. Did I mention the outstanding views of the Bighorns? Book your reservation with the Candlewood Suites and relax knowing they'll feel right at home. Call the Candlewood Suites, 307-675-2100. Moss Holders Design Center proudly supports our young student-athletes in Sheridan County. Being a member of a successful team takes determination, a strong work ethic, and great leadership. It's those qualities that have defined Moss Holders over the last 115 years in Sheridan. We're proud of the Moss Holders legacy, and we're proud of our local athletes and coaches. Let the talented and hardworking staff at Moss Holders help you with your next furniture purchase or design project. Moss Holders wishes each and every team the best of luck this season. Go Bronx and Lady Bronx. Hi, this is Ken Bockenbush with Prime Rate Motors and Super Trailer Store. And you're listening to Sheridan Media Sports. It's halftime. Lady Bronx trail by four, 33 to 29. Fun first half. Up and down ball game. A lot of lot of pace to the game. Both guards for the teams are pushing the ball up the floor. Been a fun game. A uh, few too many turnovers. I'm sure both Coach Sullivan and Coach Leppert would say the same thing. Too many turnovers from our team, but... Despite the turnovers, they've gotten a lot out of their possessions, 33-29, and very, very few free throws. Sheridan shot four in the first half, made three of them. Buffalo um, only shot one, uh, two free throws, rather, missed them both. That's it. So, like I said, they're letting them play. That's a good brand of basketball. You're going to have to be strong with the basketball as this second half comes in. But uh, good Buffalo team. I mean, this is, a, this is a very good team. You can see why preseason they were ranked number two in 3A. They're a nice team. Um, certainly, without question, the best team Sheridan has seen so far. And I would presume that Sheridan is the best team that Buffalo has seen so far. So what a great thing. You know, this record, this game, I mean, there's bragging rights. But it, other than counting as a win or a loss on your overall record, it doesn't mean anything, right? This is a great opportunity before Christmas to get out and play a team that has talent, kind of know where you need to work and where you need to get better. You know, a couple things. We, we talked about the rebounding over in Riverton uh, in those four games for Sheridan and how they did more or less kind of a poor job in those games given the given the teams they were playing. And I thought, I thought for the most part tonight their rebounding has been better. Buffalo's done a really good job of crashing the board. They do have a few offensive rebounds and some extra possessions because of those rebounds. But for the most part, Sheridan's done a nice job. Now, offensively, one of the things Sheridan is trying to do is get the ball to Mesa Hanif and, and absolutely get the ball to Hanif. She's a really good freshman, has good size, is a good free throw shooter. However, Sheridan is forcing the ball in there on many possessions. If you can reverse the ball across the perimeter and allow Mesa to come across like block to block across that painted area, across the lane, and get better position, it makes that entry pass much easier. So Lady Bronx need to do a better job of that. I absolutely try to get the ball inside to Hanif, but don't make it the third pass in the in the possession, right? You may have to pass the ball five or six times before you're before she's able to get good position because there's some nice posts, what I said before halftime. Nice posts on the offensive end for Buffalo. Nice posts on the defensive end for Buffalo. And they are really working on Hanif. I mean, Peterson, Finkel, and Kirkherrick are doing a really nice job down there limiting what she can do in the half court. Now, Mesa already has nine points in the ball game. Four, three of those coming from the free throw line and then another one in transition. But give credit to Buffalo. They've done a, they've done a really excellent job um, keying on that. Now, with that said, Sheridan needs to hit a few more threes. Adeline Burgess had two quick ones in the first quarter. Ali Lagaki had one in the, uh, or had two rather in the first half, one in the first quarter and one in the in the second quarter. Um, they need to hit a few more threes, right? If, if I mean, that's the name of the game. If you can shoot and rebound and play defense, you're going to win a lot of games. <laughs> it's kind of kind of common knowledge, but those are some things that I'm sure Coach Sullivan's hitting on. Hey, we cannot allow offensive rebounds. They lead to extra possessions. Hey, we've got to hit those open shots when they're there, and when we miss those, got an offensive rebound. Sheridan does not have very many offensive rebounds tonight. Just a couple, and those have happened from around the paint where everybody's in the lane anyway. They have not gotten offensive rebounds when they're taking perimeter shots. Nobody crashing the boards on that backside, and uh, because of that, like I said, those possessions matter, and the Lady Bronx trail by four. Again, at our last update over in Buffalo, it was the end of the first quarter. 
The Sheridan Bronx led Buffalo 19-11. Sheridan Bronx went 2-2 two and two over there in Riverton. They played some good competition, good Riverton team, solid Jackson team, um, and, a, and a good Star Valley team. And the Bronx uh, went 2-2 two and two in that trip. So they're over in Buffalo again. And then again tomorrow, be sure that you turn your radio dial in, I don't know, around 12.15, somewhere in there tomorrow afternoon. Lady Bronx are scheduled to start at 12.30, and then the Bronx will play immediately after they're over in Cody at 2 o'clock, and we'll bring you both of those games again right here on 1410 KWIO and 106.9 FM. You can also stream those from SheridanMedia.com. If you're listening tonight and you forgot that Shared Media streams the home games for basketball, this game's on TV. You can get a good look at these girls, see how athletic and the speed of the game. It's a lot of fun to watch. We were excited. We talked about this in the pregame, um, the season opener over in Riverton about how these Lady Bronx were going to push the issue a little bit offensively. You get a rebound, get out and go. If you break a press, get out and go, try to create some numbers. They've done that here tonight. And... Uh, Buffalo's done a good job in defensive transition, but, yeah, it's been a fun game, fun to watch. Buffalo likes to do the same thing. They get a rebound. They've got athletes on the outlets. Push it up the floor. See if you can get a couple easy buckets. It's been a fun one. We've got a couple more minutes of halftime, so we'll take a break and come back with second half action. You're listening to Lady Bronx Basketball on 1410 KWIO and 106.9 FM. Have you been in to see Sheridan Wyo Sports Cards yet? It's the spot to get your hands on incredible sports cards and memorabilia. Sheridan's premier spot for buying cards. All major sports cards, including fighting, wrestling, Pokemon, and even racing. These guys have hobby boxes for the serious collectors and packs for those getting started. Graded slabs from PSA, SGC, and if you have a big card to grade, talk to the guys to have your card submitted to PSA. Family friendly and located inside Sheridan Stationery Books and Gifts, 535 North Main, open seven days a week. You know what they say, if you're not first, you're last. For all your plumbing demands, choose A-plus plumbers and appliance repair. Commercial, residential, new construction, remodel jobs, and all repairs in between. A-plus plumbers and appliance repair, because they are number one in a number two business. Call 672-9454. That's 672-9454. Are you ready to make this holiday season truly merry and bright? Look no further than First Federal Bank and Trust for our exclusive holiday CD special. For a limited time, enjoy a fantastic 5.38% annual percentage yield on their three-month CD special with no minimum deposit required. That's right, $0 to get started. Or if you're looking to make a grand investment, we're offering a remarkable 5.48% APY for those who open with $250,000 or more. Don't wait. This holiday CD special won't last long. Visit us online at efirstfederal.bank. Member FDIC. It's been said that for every dollar spent at a locally owned business, it returns three times as much income into the local economy. Hi, this is Mandolin Meyer from Hospital Pharmacy West. The money you spend with a locally owned business stays in our community longer. It's just another way to recycle and help our community. When you shop local, we all win. Thank you from all of us at Hospital Pharmacy West. Hometown Pharmacy, hometown care at Hospital Pharmacy West. Hello, this is Michelle Manival from the Sports Stop and Foot of the Bighorns, and you're listening to Sheridan Media Sports. Live from Sheridan High School, Lady Bronx Trail, 33-29, to getting set to start the second half. Speaking of halftime, over in Buffalo, your Sheridan Bronx lead the Buffalo Bison, 35-21. to Bronx up 14 points at half against Buffalo. Lady Bronx have taken the court. Buffalo still in there, still in their huddle. On the floor for the Lady Bronx, it's the starters. Freshman Hanft, senior Lagaki, senior Pendergast, senior Burgess, junior McMullen. It's Buffalo ball to start out of the huddle. Camry Davis, Tess Rule, Cassidy Bessler, Carly Davis, and Grace Peterson. So starters on the floor for both sides. Carly Davis, the sophomore, led Buffalo in scoring in the first half. She had three threes for nine points. Buffalo basketball, Davis with it. Pass off to her sister, Camry. Camry, top of the key, goes to Bessler. Now to Camry. Try, thought about a three, takes it into the elbow, fires a shot. That's short. Oh, offensive board. Peterson gets it to Rule. Rule off to Davis. Carly with it. She's fouled by Burgess. Knocked near the Gatorade water cooler there. Knocked out of bounds. And... Are they going to put the ball on the sideline? They should put it on the sideline. They do. So sideline out-of-bound play for Buffalo. 
Lagaki guarding the inbounder, Davis. Camry Davis did not score. She's a junior. Carly Davis had the nine points. Camry into her sister Carly. Carly guarded by McMullen. Looking inside. Picks up her dribble. Ball knocked away. Rule runs it down. Fires a shot off the glass. No good. Ball bounces around. Another offensive rebound. Boy, Bessler fires a shot. That doesn't go. Rebound, Pendergast. Pendergast with it. Cross half court. She does not have numbers. Stops at the free throw line. McMullen, Burgess, left wing, three. Good, Addie Burgess. Burgess with her third three in the ball game. She's got nine. 33-32, 33-32, Lady Bronx down one. In no full court pressure from the Lady Bronx. Instead, they drop back to the half court. Quickly the other way, Peterson lays it up and in. Wow, Buffalo moved it up the floor quick. Got the ball to the low block, Grace Peterson. She lays it up and in and is fouled by Avery McMullen. Peterson had six in the first half. Gets the first Buffalo bucket of the second half. Eight points in total for Grace. She's a senior. Where's number four? Right hand dribble at the free throw line. Fires the shot, and it goes. Peterson with nine. She ties Carly Davis for the team leader in points this game. Pass goes to Pendergast out of the inbound. Lady Bronx down four. Seven minutes on the range scoreboard. Pass goes to Burgess. Now gets it. Burgess threw it away. Rule knocked it away. Ball on the floor. Girls laying all over the floor. There's four girls on the floor. Goes the other way. Davis fires a shot. Swatted away by Lagaki. McMullen saves it back to Davis. Davis, spin move. Pass off to Peterson at the elbow. Now to Bessler. Up top rule. She fires a three over Lagaki. Bang. Tess rule. Nine points for Tess. Pendergast, bounce pass to Hanneft. Hanneft out of bounds. Boy, couple bad turnovers by the Lady Bronx. That was a bad pass from Pendergast. Hanneft couldn't save it. Burgess on the other end just threw it right to rule. Lady Bronx have got to take better care of the basketball. All of a sudden, they're down seven, and Coach Sullivan wants a timeout. Those are those possessions. You get into tight games, every possession matters. So offensive rebounding, which Buffalo got three chances on their last possession. They got three three chances at the hoop, and it wound, wound up leading to an and one for Peterson because the Lady Bronx didn't rebound. Then in the half court, Burgess throws it away, and then in the full court pressure, Pendergast throws it away. So not the start you want if you're the Lady Bronx. Down seven. You know, they come out, and, and Burgess hits a three. It's a one-point ball game. All of a sudden, you play sloppy, and you're down seven. 6.32 to go on the range scoreboard. Just the third quarter. Buffalo basketball out of timeout. Stolen by Burgess. Gets it off to Pendergast. Right-hand dribble. She's double-teamed by Peterson. Gets around Peterson. Gets by Davis. Splits it now. Davis steals it. Knocks it away. Ball on the floor. Pendergast actually runs it, runs it down to Burgess. Swing it over McMullen. Pump fake to Burgess. Fires left wing three. Short. Rebound rule. Rule. Left side. Eyes up, crosses half court, gets to the three-point line. Nobody stops her, foot on the line. She'll fire it, no good. Avery McMullen, nice rebound. Pulls down the board and then is fouled. She was knocked over, I think, by Rule. I think they're going to get Tess with that call. It is. Tess Rule picks up a foul. McMullen, really good rebound. She was boxed out by Bessler. She worked around Bessler, grabbed that board, and then got double teamed on the baseline and fouled by Rule, her first foul. Pendergast with it, up the left sideline. Tries to split the defense again, dribbles off her foot, gets it to Burgess, now to Pendergast, inside to Hanneft. Hanneft, left-hand shot, she's fouled, and it rolls in! Oh, Mesa Hanneft gets into double digits. She's got 11 and goes to the line for an and one. Foul by Peterson, kind of surprised on that call, honestly. Peterson was pretty straight up. Got her with the body a little bit, but, you know, as much as they've let these girls play, I mean, that's not as hard as anybody's been hit, I can tell you that, so far. And Peterson has to check out of the game with her third foul. Finkel in for her. Finkel, a junior. She's listed at 5'11", pretty legit. 5'11", maybe six foot. Shot up off the front iron and in for Hanif. Hanif has all the free throws for the Lady Bronx, four of five on the night. Hanif leads the way with 12 points. Lady Bronx down four. Back the other way, rule, quickly to Finkel. Finkel fires a shot, Hanif with the rebound. Ball knocked out of bounds. Lagaki saves it. Hanif comes up with it. Lagaki back to Lagaki. Boy, good save by Lagaki. Gets it up to Burgess. Left side. Has a chance at a layup. Shot up left hand. Good. Addie Burgess in double digits. She's got 11. 39-37. Lady Bronx down two. Pass goes to the middle of the floor. Carly Davis picks it up and throws it away. She was looking for Bessler, but it's knocked away by McMullen. Shouldn't say it was thrown away. Sort of a careless pass from Carly Davis toward Bessler, and McMullen jumped the lane and knocked out of bounds. Wagner into the game. Hanneft out. Hanneft checks out with 12 points. Lady Bronx down two. Bessler inbounding for 
Buffalo gets it off to Davis. Davis working on McMullen. Behind the back dribble. Goes to rule right wing. Guarded by Wagner. Now up top, Bessler. Bessler guarded by Pendergast. Bessler looking inside. Gets Finkel at the free throw line. Finkel quickly to rule. Drives baseline. Double teamed by Lagaki and Wagner. Finds a cutting. Finkel. Oh, backside defense wasn't there. Finkel lays it up and in. Six points for Grace Finkel. Pass goes to Lagaki. Lagaki gets it to Pendergast. 41 37. Bronx down four. Pendergast to Lagaki. Lagaki back to Pendergast. They want to run a set play. Pendergast taps the top of her head. Bounce pass to Lagaki. Left hand dribble. Nobody picks her up. Gets in the lane. Fires a left hand layup. Up and we got a block. We got a block on Finkel. Lagaki goes to the line to shoot two. Well, that could be a handoff to Pendergast. That's that play. She tops the taps the top of her head. Gets it to the elbow to Lagaki. Pendergast scoots right. Lagaki left hand dribble. Nobody stopped her. Went in the lane. Finkel stepped in. Blocking foul against Finkel. Lagaki at the line, off the front iron, gets it to go. Lagaki with eight in the first half, gets her first point here in the second half. First trip to the free throw line. Lady Bronx down three. It's 38-41, 4.45 on the range scoreboard. Burgess, Pendergast, Cam Wagner, McMullen, and Lagaki on the floor for the Bronx. Lagaki misses that one, rebound Buffalo. Rule with it. Across half court. Goes left side. Davis. That's Carly. Carly stopped by McMullen. Back to Rule. Thought about the three. Left hand dribble. Kick it to Finkel at the elbow. Now Davis up top. That's Camry. She'll fire a three. Hard off the back iron. No good. Finkel offensive board. Good pass to Kirkcarrot. And in another offensive rebound for the Lady Br- or for the Lady Bison. Boy, offensive rebounds here in the second half have helped Buffalo maintain a lead. They had a four-point lead at half. Pendergast loses it. Rule comes up with it. Now Burgess runs it down after Rule gets tripped. Pendergast with it. Left hand, left wing. Lady Bronx need to be strong with the basketball. Double team comes, stolen away by Car- Carly Davis. She just took it right from Pendergast. McMullen in transition. Good D. She gets called for a foul. And Davis, they, are they going to call it on the floor? I'm not sure if they're going to. We'll see what the official signal is. Got a foul on McMullen. Blocking foul, but he, did he signal on the floor or shooting? It's going to be shooting as they line up. So Davis, no points in the second half. She led the way with nine in the first half at the line. Third foul on McMullen. Davis at the line. Student section opens up the curtain to try to haze the shooter. Doesn't go. First Lady Bison in double digits is the sophomore Carly Davis as she makes the first one. Lady Bronx down six. Lagaki, Haneft, Pendergast, Wagner, and Burgess on the floor. Six point ball game, shot up and good. Carly's got a nice shot on her. She hit three threes, checks out of the ball game, Bessler in. So Rule, Bessler, Camry Davis, Kirkert, and Finkel on the floor for the Lady Bison. Full court pressure, kind of token pressure from the Lady Bison. Pendergast across half court, guarded by Bessler. Pendergast, top of the key. Thumbs down is the play, she calls. Gets a screen from Haneft. Works left, looking for the roller. Doesn't get it. Finds an open Lagaki. She kicks it to Wagner. Fires a three right wing. That doesn't go. Rebound, Davis. Davis gets it knocked away. Stolen. Haneft with it. Lagaki now gets the scoop pass. Looks right side. Stops. Wisely stops. Gets it to Burgess. Open three left wing. Eddie Burgess, another one. She's got 14. Leads all Lady Bronx. 45-41. Lady Bronx need to stop. Test rule with it. Swing it off to Davis. Down low to Kirkcarrot. Break down defensively. She lays it up and in. Got to communicate if you're the Lady Bronx. Transition defense not there, and it's back to a six-point ball game. Lady Bronx down, 47-41. Lagaki gets it to Pendergast. Pendergast gets it to Burgess. Cross half court. Burgess left, left wing looking inside for Haneft. High pass. Haneft does a good job jumping to get it. She's fouled. Shot up in. She'll go to the free throw line. Well, it's got to be a brisk pass to the down low to the block. These floating passes, Buffalo's active. They're trying to jump in and steal those. That one was almost stole, but Haneft does a nice job being aggressive, going and getting that ball. She misses that free throw. Second miss from the free throw line here this evening. Haneft leads. I'm sorry, she doesn't lead the Lady Bronx in scoring anymore. She's got 12. Burgess just surpassed her with that three-pointer. A couple substitutions. Burgess, Pendergast. Haneft, Newton, Wagner on the floor for the Lady Bronx. Haneft makes that free throw, has 13. Five-point ball game. Lady Bronx showing pressure. Pass goes to Bessler. Across half court, they've got numbers. It's Davis, passes. Wagner does a nice job. It was a two-on-one. Wagner knocks it out of bounds. 
Two on one, Buffalo had a chance at a layup. Wagner jumped up in the air and swatted that ball out of bounds. Really good defense from the sophomore. Buffalo ball from the baseline. Pass goes into Davis. Davis gets past Pendergast. Little spin move. Goes down to Kirkherrick. Kirkherrick fires a shot off the glass and good. Boy, interior defense for Lady Bronx is struggling right now. 49-42. Pendergast with it. Up the right side to Newton. Newton looking inside. She has Hanft open. Gets it to her. Hanft working on Davis. Up and in for Mesa. Mesa with 15. 49-44. Two and a half to go on the range scoreboard. Davis with it. Crosses half court. She's guarded by Pendergast. Davis passes off to Finkel. Top of the key. Finkel looking inside. Lady Bronx got beat again underneath, and Bessler blew the layup. Wagner with a rebound, but Lady Bronx interior defense is poor right now. Pass goes to Newton. Newton fires a pass right off of Finkel. Thrown away. Buffalo basketball. Bessler with it across half court. Goes right to Davis. Davis wide open three. Might want to stick a hand in her face. Carly Davis missed that one badly. First one she's missed badly all game. And Lady Bronx are fortunate that they still are just down five. Pass goes to Newton. She's got an open look. Gets it into Mesa. Mesa working on Finkel. Fires a shot. Foul and good. Mesa to the line to shoot an and one as she gets her 17th point of the ball game. 49-46. Boy, Mesa right now has drawn some fouls down low in that low block and getting to the line. Pendergast out, Lagaki in. Cam Wagner, Aaron Newton, Mesa Hanft, Addie Burgess, Ali Lagaki on the floor for the Lady Bronx. Hanft at the line. Shoot the three-point play off the front iron and drops in. Good touch from Mesa. She's got 18. Lady Bronx down two. Can they get a stop? Bessler with it. Lagaki gives chase. Now double teamed by Newton. Bessler passes it off. Stolen by Wagner. Wagner across half court. Three on two. Wagner, top of the key. Now to Hanif, run the four. Layup up and good. Mesa Hanif has 20. Assist Wagner. Great defense by the sophomore Cam Wagner. Timeout. Buffalo. This thing's knotted up 49 49. And it all started at the defensive end for the Lady Bronx. Great job, Lady Bronx. Minute and a half to go. Timeout called by Buffalo. And that's where that athleticism, that's where that athleticism comes in. 49 to 49. Cam Wagner jumped the passing lane. Lagaki did a great job getting down there, cutting off the transition defense. Newton comes over to double team. Then Bessler is forced to just throw a pass against that double team. Wagner jumped the passing lane, got it, did a nice job dribbling down the floor with her head up, fires it off to Hanft, who trailed the play, and Hanft lays it up and in. Just a Really great job. Mesa Hanif, how about that for a freshman, huh? Had 21 in her debut. Hurt a little bit. Got hurt a little bit. Didn't play the next three games as they let that wrist rest. It's taped up tonight. And with a taped left wrist, she's got 20. Good job, Mesa Hanif. She was an all-conference volleyball player for the Lady Bronx. Her first season, obviously. Out of the timeout, Newton, Burgess, Hanft, Wagner, Lagaki on the floor. 49-49, Buffalo basketball. Bessler across half court, running the point. Pass it off to Rule, right wing. Guarded by Wagner. Now up top, Davis. That's Carly. Carly, right-hand dribble. Off to Rule. Rule looking inside. Now to Burgess, guarding Davis. Davis, left-hand dribble. Finds a cutting Bessler, but she can't handle it. Goes to Burgess. Burgess across half court. Finkel gives chase. Bounce pass to Newton. Stolen away by Bessler. Great hustle. Cassidy Bessler running the floor. Buffalo basketball. They've got an open layup on the other side. It's Tess Rule. Right-hand layup up and good. Boy, Lady Bronx had numbers. Couldn't convert. Cassidy Bessler did a great job running that thing down for Buffalo. Gets the ball out after the steal, and Tess Rule was all alone. They call that cherry picking, and she gets two points to show for it. Newton almost throws the ball away. Wagner with it. Lagaki wants thumbs down. 51-49. Lagaki drives, gets to the paint, working on Finkel. Jump stop. Kick it out, Burgess. Right wing, three short. And rebound Rule. 30 seconds to go. Buffalo leads by two. Up to Davis. Davis working on Burgess. Left hand layup. No good. Rebound Newton. Gets it ripped away by Cassidy Bessler up and in. Need to be strong with the basketball. Newton pulled down that board and then had it ripped right away by Cassidy Bessler. 59, 53-49, Lady Bronx trail by four. 12 seconds to go. Lagaki handling the point. Guarded by Ruled. Lagaki off to Wagner. Over to Newton. Looking for Burgess running baseline. She fires a corner three left side. Bang, Eddie Burgess. One second in that. Lady Bronx trail by one as we go to the fourth quarter. 52 to 53, up and down ball game. Lady Bronx just can't get a lead and keep it. 
We'll take a break, come back with fourth quarter action. You're listening to Lady Bronx Basketball on 1410 KWIO and 106.9 FM. Construction loans are becoming more and more popular with customers at First Bank of Wyoming, and for good reason. Hi, this is Kim Newman. With a construction loan from First Bank of Wyoming, it's easy to keep track of our entire project with the help of our online construction platform called Built. Built allows the borrower and builder to have access to the entire construction process and budget overview, ensuring it moves forward without any difficulty. There is no one better to trust with your project, no matter how big or small, than First Bank of Wyoming. Division of Glacier Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi, this is Jeff Tomlinson with Stiefel Financial, and you're listening to Sheridan Media Sports. We've got a fun one here from Sheridan High School Gymnasium. Lady Bronx trail by one. It's been a back-and-forth ball game. Buffalo's held the lead most of the game, but Sheridan comes in, gets within one, ties it up, down six, comes back, and uh, Sheridan takes the floor, fourth quarter. 40-29 40 to 29 is your score on the Sheridan Bronx side. They're over in Buffalo tonight, 40 to 29. I was just getting an assist from Shane Parker there. He gave me the update, so thanks, Shane, as we update you listeners. And out of the timeout, Tess Rule with a steal, layup, good. Holy cow. I was about to say, Tess Rule with 13, 55-52. I was about to say in this fourth quarter, Sheridan better take care of the basketball and limit offensive rebounds for Buffalo. And what do they do? Turnover right out of the break. Pendergast with it, goes to McMullen. McMullen, left-hand dribble, guarded by Davis. Working right, off to Pendergast. Working by Bessler, gets into the paint. Nice little bounce pass, great assist, Addie Pendergast. Mesa with a layup, she's got 22. 55-54, Lady Bronx trail by one. Full court pressure from the Lady Bronx. Rule with it, across half court. She's trapped, pass goes to Bessler. Bessler swings it off left side. Davis, fire a two, 15-footer, off the front iron, off the glass, no good. Ball bounces around, offensive rebound, Buffalo. What's new? Lady Bronx have got to box out. Davis with it. Ball knocked away by Cam Wagner. Wagner up the right side, looking for Pendergast, gets it to her. Pendergast crosses half court. Over to Lagaki, left side. Inside to Mesa, doesn't get it to her. Goes to Pendergast instead, top of the key. Pendergast, around the back dribble, into the paint. Kick it out, Cam. She'll fire a three right corner. Good, Cam Wagner! Boy, hasn't scored tonight, hits a huge three, gives the Lady Bronx a two-point lead. Bessler with it across half court. Gets a great pass inside to Peterson. Knocked away by Cam Wagner. Blocked away. Pass goes to Rule. Rule fires a three. That doesn't go. Wagner cannot pull down the rebound. Davis fires up a shot. Lagaki pulls down the board. Right side, and she's fouled. Reached in. I think they're going to get Peter. Lagaki got, looks like she might have got pushed in the back after the play. She stomped away. She stomped away a little upset. 57-55. Boy, it was physical. Lagaki got that rebound and then got corralled by three bison. Now the foul goes against Tess Rule. There were three Lady Bison there. I wasn't sure who they were going to get it. But anyway, after the foul was called, somebody gave Lagaki a little shove in the back, and she didn't take too kindly to that. Lady Bronx basketball. We've got a loose shoelace. So Lagaki ties her shoelace, and now we're ready to go. Lady Bronx basketball, six and a half to go. 57-55. Bronx lead by two. Pendergast with it. Crosses half court, guarded by Rule. Pendergast, left side. Strong into the low block. Oh, had a layup, missed it. Offensive board, goes over the, she's fouled. Goes to the line to shoot two. I think they're going to get Bessler with a reach in. Pendergast going to the line. Pendergast a senior, wears number 13, had four points in the first half. Has not scored here in the second half. Haneft, Lagaki, McMullen, Burgess on the floor for your Lady Bronx, and, of course, Pendergast at the free throw line. Pendergast eyes the first one, puts it up, a lot of backspin, off the back iron, and good. Substitution for Buffalo. Kirkerick checks in as Peterson checks out. Lady Bronx lead by three. Second free throw upcoming for Pendergast. She eyes it, puts it up, a lot of backspin, in and out. Rebound Finkel. Three-point lead for the Bronx. Bison basketball. Across half court rule, quickly, top of the key. Over to the right, Bessler, guarded by Burgess. Uh, Bessler looking inside. Gets it to Finkel instead of the three point or the free throw line. Now off to Rule. Rule shot blocked. Mesa comes down with it. It was blocked by McMullen. Great job closing out. Mesa comes up with it. Gets it to Burgess. Now to McMullen. Low block. Fires a shot. She's fouled. Go to the line to shoot two. Avery McMullen. Huge defensive play by Avery McMullen. We had one last possession from Cam Wagner. 
This possession, it's Avery McMullen getting a piece of that shot. Mesa got the rebound, outlets it, and McMullen does a nice job running the floor, goes to the free throw line. Third foul on Buffalo this quarter. Two more, and the Bronx will be shooting free throws from here on out. McMullen misses that free throw. Free throws are going to be big down the stretch, as are rebounding and taking care of the basketball. Substitution from Buffalo. It's Camry Davis checking into the game. Finkel out. So Rule, Kerkarit, uh Bessler, Carly Davis, and Camry Davis on the floor. Lagaki, Haneft, Burgess, Pendergast, and McMullen on the floor for the Lady Bronx. McMullen shot up and good. McMullen gets her third point of the ball game. Rule inbounds it to Davis. Back to Rule. Lagaki giving her full court pressure. Now to Bessler. Bessler, nice little bounce pass to Rule. Rule streaks up the court. Low block, back up dribble as she's guarded by Haneff. Goes to Bessler, right wing. Guarded by Burgess. Goes to Rule. Rule, three-point line. Hits a cutting Davis in the paint. And she's wrapped up by Pendergast. They're going to get a reach on Pendergast. 59-55, Lady Bronx up four. 5.37 to go. First team foul on the Lady Bronx. I tell you what, if it was, if it, whether or not it was a foul on Pendergast, it's a great decision to reach in there. Doesn't matter if it was a foul or not. Reach in there because they had an open shot and out of the out of bounds play, Camry Davis gets her first two of the ball game. 59-57. Lady Bronx basketball, they're up two. 5-25 on the range scoreboard. Pendergast with it. Left hand dribble. Kick off to Burgess. Thought about the three. She has five of them tonight. Gets in the paint, fires up a shot, rejected by Davis. Davis with it. Buffalo has a chance to tie or take the lead. They're down two. Davis over to her sister Carly. Carly, three-point line. Guarded by McMullen. Now to Camry. Top of the key. Swing it over right side. Bessler looking inside. Can't get it inside. Gets it to Rule. Back to Bessler. She fires a pass right to Burgess. Oh, bad pass by Bessler. Lagaki up to McMullen. McMullen now behind Hanif, but Pendergast runs it down. Layup up. No good. Offensive board. Mesa Hanif up and in. The freshman has 24. 61-57, 4.44 61-57, 4.44 to go. Rule across half court. Lady Bronx need to transition defense. Bessler with it. Left wing, three-point line. Gets past Burgess into the paint. Fires out a shot to Rule, 15-footer, good. Test Rule with 15 for Buffalo. Breakdown defensively by the Lady Bronx. Pendergast across it. Lady Bronx have only played seven in this ball, or mostly seven in this ball game. They've got to be tired. Pendergast with it. Gets to the three-point line. Lagaki, now Burgess. Burgess looking inside for Haneft. Haneft gets Kerkarit over the back. That's the fourth team foul. Next foul, Sheridan will be shooting two, unless it's an offensive foul. But the next foul on Buffalo, except for offensive fouls, Lady Bronx will be in double bonus from here on out. 61-59, McMullen inbounding from the sideline. Gets it to Pendergast in the corner. Inside to Hanif. She goes up and gets it. Gets it out to Lagaki. 15-footer. Good, Allie Lagaki. She's got 11. Assist goes to Haneft. Lady Bronx have a four-point lead, 407. This game's been so much fun, we'll just keep it here. We won't even go to break. It's a timeout by Buffalo. Coach Leppert, what a game, though. I mean, Mesa Haneft, 24 points. Addie Burgess, five threes, 17 points. Ali Lagaki with 11. On the other side, this Buffalo team, test rule with 15. Kind of a quiet 15. It doesn't even feel like she's been scoring that much. You look down at the scorebook, she's got nine in the second half. Had six in the first half. 15 points for Tess Rule. Carly Davis with 11. Grace Peterson with nine. Cassidy Bessler with six. Grace Finkel with six. Isabel Kirkherrett, 10 points, and two for Camry Davis. Lady Bronx have kind of been a three-headed monster, like we said. Haneft, Burgess, Lagaki, McMullen has three, and Cam Wagner had a huge three from the right corner to give the Lady Bronx the lead. 4.07 on your range scoreboard. Buffalo breaks their huddle first. Kirkherrett, both Davises, Rule, and Bessler on the floor. Starters for the Bronx, that's Lagaki, Burgess, McMullen, Pendergast, and Haneft. Fun game. Hope you're able to watch this thing. I mean, it's fun on the radio, but if you can turn it on SheridanMedia.com and watch this thing, this has been some good basketball. Sheridan County-Johnson County rivalry. Pass goes right. Buffalo out of the timeout. It's Davis. Davis throws it away. McMullen did a great job jumping the passing lane. Gets it off to Lagaki. Lagaki spin move at half court. Dribbles it. Controls the basketball. Gets it off to McMullen. Left side. She slows it down wisely. Good decision by Avery. Lagaki swing it over to Pendergast. Pendergast in the corner. Working on Rule. Kick it out, McMullen. Thought about the three. Gets past her man. Left hand dribble. She lost it in the lane. Oh, run down by Kirkherrett. McMullen, good decision, and then just dribbled it off her thigh. Rule with it. 
quickly to Davis. Davis closed out on by Lagaki. Davis swing pass up top. Bessler. Bessler over to Davis. Now underneath to or in the right corner to Rule. Rule up top. Davis. That's Camry. Camry inside. Knocked away by Hanif. Good D by Hanif. 3.20 to go. Lady Bronx lead by four. Peterson checks into the game as does Finkel. So some size for the Lady Bison. It's Peterson and Finkel check in. Kirkherrit and Bessler out. The Davis girls. Finkel, Peterson, and Rule on the floor and out of the inbound pass. Carly Davis just drug her foot. She traveled before she dribbled. Turnover Bison, Lady Bison. Four-point lead for the Lady Bronx. Rule's guarding Lagaki. Finkel comes up to guard Hanft. Pendergast inbounding. Looking for somebody. Kicks it out to Alley. Lagaki with it. Guarded by Rule. Lagaki working right side around the back. Gets past Rule. Gets to the top of the key. Kick it out McMullen. Back to Lagaki. Lagaki swing pass over to Pendergast. Now Burgess in the corner. Guarded by Davis. Kick it out Lagaki near the volleyball line. Lagaki wants to run a set play. Kicks it off to Pendergast and the Lady Bronx reset. I think we're going to get a pick from Hanft. We do. Pendergast dribbling. Looking for Hanft. Can't get it to her. Bronx reset. Go to McMullen on the left wing. Looking inside for Hanft. Can't get her to it. McMullen. To the free throw line. Kicks it out. Burgess thought about the three. Left hand dribble. She walked. Well, Burgess has had a nice game from the three point line, but a few too many turnovers. It's 63 59. 245 to go. Rule with it. She quickly moves it across half court. Picks up her dribble. Goes to Peterson. Guarded by Hannah. Peterson, left wing. Now to Davis. That's Carly. Carly guarded by McMullen. McMullen's done a nice job on Carly Davis since that first quarter where she hit a bunch of threes, and I say that, she fires a three and hits it. Wow, she got a screen. McMullen was a little late because she was screened, and it's a one-point ball game. Lady Bronx up one, 218 on the range scoreboard. Pendergast with it, guarded by Rule. Bounce pass to Lagaki at the elbow. Right wing, gets past Peterson, into the paint. Finkel gives help, Lagaki up and in, and we got a whistle, oh my goodness. We got a whistle. Finkel was right underneath the hoop. They're going to count that basket. Lagaki with 13. Finkel was right underneath the hoop. It can't be a charge if somebody's right underneath the hoop. I thought they were just going to let it go, though. As much as they have let these girls play here today, I thought that would have been a good no whistle. Instead, Finkel gets hit for the gets hit for the foul, and Lagaki's at the line, hits that one. Lagaki with 14. Lady Bronx up four. Two minutes to go. Rule quickly to right the right side to Davis. Davis. Bounce pass into the lane. Finds Peterson. Peterson fires a shot. She's fouled, and it's good. Boy, back and forth game. Are they going to get Burgess or Hanneft with this? We're going to find out. They get Hanneft with the foul. Peterson gets her 11th point in the ball game. 66 to 64. That is the second team foul on Sheridan. That is important because at five team fouls, teams are shooting two free throws. No more one and one. Peterson shot up and good. Peterson has 12. Lagaki with it. Now to Pendergast. Two minutes to go. Lady Bronx up one. Pendergast. Bounce pass over to Lega- uh, Burgess. Burgess. Elbow. Kick it off McMullen. McMullen. Right hand dribble toward the volleyball line. Guarded by Peterson. McMullen works right. Hand off to Pendergast. Minute 45. Coach Sullivan calling out the play. Screen from Hanif coming. Pendergast, right hand dribble to McMullen. Lagaki, top of the key. Swing it left, Burgess. Looking inside for Hanif. Now Lagaki. Now McMullen, right wing. McMullen looking inside. They're trying to get the ball to Mesa, but they're doing a nice job. It's Finkel, and Peterson, I think, just fouled out. Peterson just gets called for a block foul as Avery McMullen smartly tries to get in the lane. Maybe that's four. No, I think it's five. Yep, that's her fifth. Peterson fouled out. She's still on the court. She knew she had five. She was waiting for the call from the scores table. Nice game by Grace Peterson, though. She is a nice player over there for Buffalo. Where's number four? She's a senior. Stands about 5'9", 5'10". Really nice game. She fouls out with 12. 66-65. Did a great job on Hanif defensively. I mean, as good of a job as you can do. Hanif, I mean, she's a nice player. McMullen shot up and in and out and back in. Oh, Avery McMullen, big free throw. She's got four points in the ball game. Done, had some key defensive stops and a couple nice rebounds. McMullen's done all the little things that help you win here tonight and missed that free throw. Rebound Buffalo. Lady Bronx up two. Bessler across half court. Lady Bronx showing man. Pass goes right to Rule. Now to Davis in the corner. Back to Rule. Rule gets past McMullen. Into the paint. Right hand layup. Up and good. Test Rule has 17. 67 all. 
Bounce pass to Hanif. Hanif back to Pendergast. Pendergast going to try to split the defense. Oh, man. Boy. She gets fouled. Goes to the line to shoot two. But, boy, you want to advise against that. Pendergast has lost the ball a couple times trying to split the defense in this full court pressure. That time she almost lost it, was fouled by Bessler, her third. Addy at the line in a tie ball game, 67-67. Pendergast with five here in the ball game. Shot up and good. Pendergast two for three from the free throw line this evening. 68-67, a minute nine on your range scoreboard. Starters on the floor for the Lady Bronx. Probably not going to see any subs coming up here. Misses it, but an offensive board to Pendergast. Pendergast, swing it to McMullen. McMullen, a couple dribbles. And she's bumped, or we got a timeout. we got a timeout. Timeout by Coach Ryan Sullivan. Smart timeout with a Lady Bronx up one and a minute three to go. All right now, Coach Sullivan's going to have a feel for who your good free throw shooters are, but we don't. I mean, statistics lie four games in. You just don't know how many attempts are you going to get. Now, Hanft has done a great job at the line. She was seven for nine in her first game. Uh, what is she? She's five. Six for eight here tonight, so good percentage from Hanft. We know Burgess can hit free throws. We know Lagaki can hit free throws. So you feel good if you're Coach Sullivan um, with your free throw shooting as long as you can be strong with the basketball. There's nothing more important right now than being strong with the basketball. The refs have started to whistle a little bit more, right? They let them play a lot in the first half. Second half, they've called a little tighter game. And because of that, Sheridan's in the bonus. And again, it's a double bonus. There's no more one and one. It's always a double bonus. It's number of fouls in a quarter. Buffalo already has over five this quarter. So the Lady Bronx will go to the free throw line to shoot should Buffalo foul. I don't know that they will with a minute on the clock. They can just play defense. And Sheridan, Sheridan's got to take care of the basketball. McMullen inbounding. Lagaki, Pendergast, Burgess, and Hanft on the floor as well. Lagaki screens for Pendergast. McMullen gets it to Lagaki. Lagaki, she's double teamed near the corner. Goes baseline. Jump stop. Kick off to Hanif. She had a shot, but backs it out to Pendergast. Now to McMullen. McMullen guarded by Davis. That's Carly. McMullen, right hand dribble. Good strength with the basketball by Avery. Avery, crossover dribble. Looking for somebody. Gets it. Oh, gets it down low to Mesa. She was reached around by Carly Davis. Carly Davis has given up several inches to Mesa Hanif. She didn't like the call, but it was a good call. She reached around. Fouled Hanft, and Hanft goes to the line. She's got a game-high 24 points. Leads both teams in scoring. Is at the line with an opportunity to extend this lead. She does. First one good. 25 points on the night for Mesa. 69-67. Lady Bronx up two. 45 seconds on the range scoreboard. Hanft gets the basketball. Second shot up, in, out, and back in. Oh, man, she used every bit of the rim and the backboard. 26 for the freshman, 70-67. Lady Bronx lead by three, 40 seconds to go. Bison, break half court. Carly Davis with it, guarded by McMullen. Again, Avery's done a nice job. She fouls there, but it doesn't matter. That's only the third team foul. They have one more to give before Buffalo shoots free throws. 35.6 seconds on the clock. Fourth quarter. Lady Bronx up three. Bessler with it, guarded by Burgess, out of the inbounds. Screen set, Burgess recovers, rule with it. Up top, Bessler, Bessler drives into the paint, barrels into the paint, fires up a shot, and we got a block on Mesa. Hanft fouls. Bessler just lowered her shoulder like a running back running through the offensive line, plowed into the lane, and gets rewarded with two free throws. She fired up a shot, went hard off the glass. Bessler has six points here tonight. Where's number 24? Shot up. That's missed. So it stays a three-point lead. And the Sheridan Bronk, I don't know if you can see it on TV, but the, uh, the Sheridan Bronk pep band is giving Bessler the business. Uh, they open up a curtain, and they've got student section going nuts. Missed them both. McMullen with it. Bounce pass to Lagaki. 20 seconds. Lagaki, it's one on five. Passes off to McMullen. Now goes to Pendergast. Pendergast. Bounce pass to Burgess. Lady Bronx just need to take care of it. Burgess fouled. Goes to the line with a chance to make this a two-possession game. 12.4 seconds on the clock. Lady Bronx up three. 70 to 67. Boy, two big missed free throws from the senior Bessler. At the line, could have cut it to one, missed them both. 
and a huge rebound from Avery McMullen. Gets it off to Lagaki. Lagaki brings it up the sideline, makes a nice cross-court pass. Burgess hits it. 18 points for Adeline Burgess. It's a four-point lead for the Lady Bronx, and she's got one more upcoming. Test rule checks out. Kerkarit into the game. Again, starters for the Bronx, Pendergast, McMullen, Hanif, Lagaki, and Burgess at the free throw line. Burgess, couple dribbles, spins it in that left hand, fires the right hand shot, and good, nothing but net. 19 points, Lady Bronx lead by five, 12.4 on the clock. Carly Davis with it, guarded by McMullen. Carly Davis across half court. Gets to the top of the key, five, four, three. Cassidy Bessel with it, guarded by Burgess. They'll fire up a three, it doesn't matter. She missed it, and the Lady Bronx win. 72-67 in just a just an outstanding fun game. What a fun day to be in the gym. That is a that is a very good team. Not a very good 3A team, a very good team. Sometimes I don't like when we call teams 3A, 2A, 1A. This is a that Buffalo team is a nice team. They came in and gave Sher- gave Sheridan all they could handle. Sheridan free throws down the stretch. Some huge offensive rebounds, and they were strong with the basketball the last few minutes. Lady Bronx win it, 72 to 67. We'll do a quick update for you. Sheridan boys, that game is last update I had. There was four minutes and 18 seconds on the clock. Sheridan boys were up five over in Buffalo. We'll take a break. Come back with your post game. But uh, once again, Lady Bronx run their record to five and zero on the season. They win 72 to 67 in just a one of the well. What a great game to call. I just enjoyed the heck out of that. I hope you enjoyed listening. We'll come back with your post game. Lady Bronx win by five. You're listening to Lady Bronx Basketball on 1410 KWIO and 106.9 FM. This is Kim Hall with ERA Carol Realty. My new listing at 7239 Highway 1416 in Arveda is amazing. This home has over 4,000 square feet with four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and a potential extra living quarters in the walkout basement. A huge 40 by 60 shop garage and a greenhouse are just a few of the unique features. This one is priced at $590,000 and would be hard to beat. Call me, Kim Hall, at 520-227-5543 for more information. Community interest classes are back for the spring semester at Sheridan College. See all the classes on the back page of this week's Country Bounty for both Sheridan and Buffalo campuses. Architectural sketching, meat curing and brining, fundamentals of inventing, self-defense, and beginning yoga are just a few of the classes. Scan the QR code on the back page of the Country Bounty to find out more, or just go to sheridan.edu slash community to register. Never stop learning with community interest classes at Sheridan College. Hi, this is Colton Bates with the best real estate team, and around this time of year, there are so many great examples of people giving the perfect gift, giving to those in need, and so on. At best, we want to do the same thing and give to those thinking about starting or who are along their real estate journey. Whether it's connecting you with the right lender, providing you with great tools such as a market analysis, or general market updates and advice, we want to provide you with whatever it is you need to build the best future for you and your housing needs. The greatest gift to us is giving our clients the best real estate experience possible. So call us today at 675-BEST and visit bestwi.net. Proudly brokered by EXP. Is Wyoming Corporate Office your one-stop shop for everything you need for your Wyoming-based business, LLC, or corporation formulation? Yes. Service of process and mail forwarding services? Indeed. Fulfill the legal requirements for small businesses based in Wyoming? Absolutely. Wyoming Corporate Office provides the communication between your business and the state, so you don't have to. Learn more by visiting wyomingcorporateoffice.com today. Hello, this is Benton Johnson with Sheridan Motor, and you're listening to Sheridan Media Sports. Well, had a couple minutes to check my breath, or to, to catch my breath, rather, Lady Bronx quarter. They were down four at the end of half. They were down one at the end of the third quarter, and then down the stretch just did a great job. They got a huge three from Cam Wagner. They got some huge free throws down the stretch. Defensively and rebounding, Avery McMullen, Cam Wagner, Ali Lagaki pulled down some enormous rebounds, had a couple steals, really made the difference in the ball game. A lot of times you look at the scoring, and we'll go over the scoring, and it was impressive. But a lot of times it's those little things down the stretch. Mesa Hanif led the way with 26 points, but Hanif had a huge offensive rebound that kept the possession alive for the Lady Bronx, forced Buffalo to foul, and the Lady Bronx come away with a five-point victory. And and I got to tell you, those are two very athletic teams. We imagine Buffalo is going to win 
a lot of games this season, um, not only in their conference but in their in their uh, in statewide. Buffalo Buffalo is a nice team. They are athletic. They've got skill. They've got some nice post players who do just an excellent job down there, both on defense and offense. And uh, we'll run down the scoring real quick for you for Buffalo side. Don't know if there's any Johnson County people who maybe tuned into this broadcast tonight, but it was a fun one. Uh, Tess Rule, 17 points. She led the way for the Lady Bison. K uh, Carly Davis had, was it four? It was. It was four three-pointers and uh, a couple free throws. So she finishes with 14 points. Grace Peterson finishes with 12. Isabel Kerkarit finished with 10. And then six for Finkel, six for Bessler. So a nice game from Buffalo. They have nothing to hang their heads about, right? That game, that game could have gone any which way, but the Lady Bronx did a great job from the free throw line down the stretch. They did all their small things. And I think we've got a score update real quick. 46-41 uh, over there over there in Buffalo. And, uh, yeah, not sure how much time there is, but, yeah, boys are up right now over in Buffalo. And then, uh, you know, we go over to the Lady Bronx side, and, again, Mesa Hanna's kind of good. You know, we didn't want to put too much pressure on her. Um, as a freshman, we knew what kind of player she was coming into the season. But you go, well, let's, let's let her find her. Let's let her find her rebounding, her defensive presence, and uh, all she does is score 21 in her debut and then 26 here tonight <laughs> against against a Buffalo team that gave her fits. I mean, I said it. Kerkarit, Finkel, and, and Peterson did a really nice job on Mesa defensively, and she just powered through, had nine in the first half, scored 26 in the game, shot really well from the free throw line, too. I've, I've got her eight for ten from the free throw line. A couple big free throws down the stretch to make it a two-possession ball game. Adeline Burgess had five threes in the ball game, 19 points. Um, Second leading scorer for the Lady Bronx. Avery McMullen finished with four, but two big free throws down the stretch. Um, and some really good defense and a couple opportune rebounds, good timed uh, rebounds that allowed the Lady Bronx, once they, once they got a lead, to extend that lead. So huge game from Avery McMullen. Cam Wagner had three points. She hit a huge three, but then on the other end had an enormous steal and a big rebound that shut down Buffalo's possession. So like I said, really nice game from those guys. And then Allie Lagaki's the final Bronx. She finished with 14 points, had eight in the first half, 14 in the second half. She shot well from the free throw line as well, um, going three for four, finishing with 14 points. So Really great job from the Lady Bronx. A fun game to call, a fun game to watch. I mean, even if I wasn't on the air, this game would have been a blast to watch because you've got two good teams, two athletic teams. It's a brand of basketball I personally really enjoy. I like when the guards get the basketball and they move the ball up the floor and we see offense. I don't mean about run and gun, but I mean let's get into offense, let's get in a flow, let's handle the basketball. And the Lady Bronx and the Lady Bison, treated anyone who showed up tonight or if you were watching on TV to a really, really fun game. Enjoyed the heck out of that one. Not sure if Coach Sullivan is going to join us or not. We'll take a quick break. If he does not join us, we'll wrap things up from the Sheridan High School. Remember, tomorrow, Lady Bronx are on the air somewhere around 12.15. The game's scheduled to start at 12.30, so it could be, like I said, we don't know for sure what time it'll start. You never know because there's JV games and sophomore games going on. But right around 12.15, you probably ought to tune in to 106.9 FM or 14.10 KWYO. And then, just like we did over in Riverton, the boys' game will immediately follow that. So uh, no need to go anywhere. Like I say, listen to the girls. See if the girls can run their record to 6-0. and Speaking of the girls, they have a test tomorrow. Cody was an undefeated state champ last year. They lost several seniors. They have a young team, but they also have the reigning Gatorade Player of the Year, who I think went out and scored 32 in the season opener over in Gillette last weekend. So, um, again, it's going to be an athletic team. It's going to be a well-coached team. They're going to have a little bit more inexperience than Sheridan does, but uh, at the same time, it should be a fun one. This is going to be a really good test for the Lady Bronx. Tomorrow, you want to end Chris, or you want to go into Christmas break, with a victory, they're 5-0 and on the season. They have an opportunity to go 6-0. and They'll get up early, hop on the bus, and head over the mountain to Cody. And, again, 12.30 for the girls' game, 2 o'clock for the boys' game. And, uh, like I said, we'll take a quick break, see if Coach Zolvin will be kind enough to join us. Otherwise, we'll get off the air. You're listening to Lady Bronc Basketball on 1410 KWIO and 106.9 FM. It might be cold and windy outside, but it's always warm and welcoming at Camco Federal Credit Union. Come in from the cold and let us assist you with your banking needs. Short on holiday cash? Come in and apply for a loan to get gifts for your loved ones. 
Need a debit card? Come in and open a checking account and we can print one for you. Camco Federal Credit Union is here for you and wishes you a happy and healthy holiday season. Camco Federal Credit Union, member NCUA and equal housing lender. Dealing with bone and joint issues? Schedule a visit with Sheridan Orthopedic Associates. Their board-certified orthopedic surgeons are experts in all aspects of orthopedics, focusing on sports injuries as well as joint problems from the feet, ankles, and knees to the spine and upper extremities. After all, they've been providing the area with surgical excellence and outstanding patient care for almost 50 years. Learn more about Sheridan Orthopedic Associates online at SheridanOrtho.com. Farmers Co-op, home of the 99 cent soda, invites you to start your day off right with that first cup of Morning Joe and a little something something to go from their awesome bakery rack. Then come back for lunch. By now, I know you've heard me talk about their mouth-watering sausages, but they also have a variety of hot and cold sandwiches along with a soup of the day. They really do have it all at Farmers Co-op, 1450 Coffee and Avenue in Sheridan. This holiday season, give the gift that keeps on giving with Sunlight Federal Credit Union. Imagine a 25-month certificate of deposit at a dazzling 5.13% annual percentage yield. With a solid 5% annual percentage rate, starting with just a $500 deposit, you can secure your financial future without breaking the bank. No new money required. Give the gift of savings this holiday season. Member NCUA Sunlight Federal Credit Union, building a brighter future together. This is Dr. Michelle Meehan, and you're listening to Sheridan Media Sports. Back at Sheridan High School, Lady Bronx win 72 to 67. They run their record to 5 and 0 on the season. They were led by the freshman Mesa Hanif with 26 big points. Adeline Burgess had five threes, finished with 19 points. Lagaki chipped in 14, and then it was Avery McMullen and Cam Wagner pulling down some huge rebounds. Some great defensive effort, and Cam Wagner hit a huge three down the stretch, and McMullen had a couple big free throws. Lady Bronx win, and we've got a final from Buffalo as the Sheridan Bronx knocked off the Bison 50-43. to That just came through. Sheridan wins 50-43. to So it's a good day to be a Bronx. Lady Bronx win by five. Sheridan Bronx win by seven. Again, tune in tomorrow. Lady Bronx game right around 12.30. Maybe tune in about 12.15. And the boys game to immediately follow should be somewhere around 2 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. You've been listening to Lady Bronx basketball on 106.9 FM and 1410.